আমরা জেনে নেব কিভাবে প্রতিদিন অভিযোজন হচ্ছে এই পেশার কিভাবে নতুন নতুন বিষয় এসে ঢুকছে এই পেশার পরিধিতে যা এই পেশাকে আরো বেশি সমৃদ্ধ করে তুলছে will not become complete until cost accountancy extends to towards management accountancy. So cost and management accountancy is the, I mean, the crux issue in regard to any industry, any services for whether it is a manufacturing industry or it is in service industry. CMA will give you the new dimension, the new horizon in regard to all aspects, all activities. You know that uh, there is a need in finance, that finance is the art and science of managing money. Similarly, there is also need that cost and management accountancy profession is the art and science of managing key decisions any business activity. Practically speaking, in any business organization and to our everyday digital uh, right from our digital life, I mean uh, right from the morning uh, until we used to go to our bed for lying down. Every step we are using that decision and cost and management accountancy is the real thing, the art and science of managing key decisions in anywhere in your day-to-day -day life or any service in the industry, in whether it is producing goods or in services anywhere. And without cost and management accountancy, you cannot move a single step. Cost accountant, they will give you the key decision whether we will go for that product a product or we will go for the project or not, whether the project will be feasible or not, it is cost accounting. They will analyze and they will say, yes, this is the parameter by virtue of which you can go ahead or you can retreat. Even at this juncture, you know that for any project in capital budgeting, which we read in our financial management also as the basic common prudence, when we see that net present handle is positive, we are accepting the project. But you know nowadays this cost and management, management accountancy provision extends to that extent that at this juncture also, if NPV of any project becomes negative, no, you cannot tell that we will reject the uh, project. In the sense, at that juncture, you have to think whether we can extend the project, we can depart the project, we can construct the project and on that portion you value again some NPV and after solving the earlier one with the latest one, if it gives positive then you accept the project. The country is in a growth phase and so is the CME profession. We have drawn specific plans to tap the brilliant students in every corner of the villages. We have around 60,000 plus members which is not sufficient to keep pace with the growth pattern. Now this sends a very positive signal to all who are desirous of joining the CMA profession but at the same time, it calls for tapping the brilliant students in every corner of the country. Now this sends a very positive signal to all who are desirous of joining the CMA profession. But at the same time, it calls in for tapping the brilliant students in every corner of the country. We have broad initiatives to tap the student base which will sustain the present growth pattern. 
এবার আমরা চলে যাব এই পেশার সঙ্গে যুক্ত বেশ কয়েকজন বর্ষিয়ান পেশাদারদের কাছে যারা তাদের অভিজ্ঞতা ঝাঁপি খুলে ধরবেন আমাদের দর্শক বিশেষ করে ছাত্রছাত্রীদের জন্য There are excellent faculty members and professors who can elaborate on that subject. I will not venture in that. But I will tell you two other very important things which are developing in the entire world. When we talk about the accountancy principle, still now the people think of the financial accountants, the financial norms. But the world has been changing very fast. I don't know whether you have heard about GRI, the Global Reporting Initiative. I was a member there and I could take number of professionals including the cost accountant, the then president of the cost accountant who was with me, we attended the GRI conference. The GRI one and it has been accepted by a very large number of companies throughout the world that apart from the financial norms the other norms like sustainability development that should become a fundamental criteria for accounting you have heard about the csr that we have developed and now it has become a part of the law the two person of the last year's profit has to go into the CSR. But it is not as easy as that. It is basically the company's domain, company's policy that needs to be addressed. We have been telling often that CSR is not a charity. CSR is a win-win situation. Now it is up to the professionals like you or the body professionals who will join the company how to make the CSR a win-win situation it is not a tax system many people think that okay come we pay two percent give it to somebody and finish no at the board level there should be discussion how by spending which way the company in turn also get back something in terms of reputation, in terms of its work flexibility. I give you an example. In the mining company, in the present day scenario, irrespective of the politics, no mining company will be able to do the work unless they do the proper CSR activity in that particular area. Unless the company is accepted by the larger society, by the larger stakeholder, it will not be possible for the company to grow smoothly, to harvest the mining and develop properly. It is important for the professionals like you to understand this thing. And you are the person whose advice the board of directors will like to listen and they will form the board policy accordingly. This is what we try to develop. We have been spreading this thing. And for the chartered accountants who have been entrusted with the financial accountancy, the sustainability accountancy, the sustainability part, the CSR part, is left open to all. So if the cost accountants, cost and management accountants as you are calling yourself today, if you develop your curriculum, if your students get the right type of technological help, right type of education, right type of mental attitude they can form, so that the more and more companies will prefer 
the cost accountants to come into their lab, come into their fold and take up these issues. A difficult business environment through which uh, all of us are going through at this juncture globally, not only in uh, India but also globally, is a, a period where one introspects, one gives an opportunity to uh, look for newer opportunities, uh, cost management and innovation. Typically, a cost manager, a cost and management accountant is ideally poised to play a very significant role in such a scenario because he, a cost and management accountant is like a business partner. He not only understands the intricacies of the cost management, but he is also an expert who also understands the intricacies of a business. Because unless and until one understands the intricacies of business, he cannot do or bring about improvement in cost management. Another area where a cost and management accountant can play a very important role is in the area of business process improvement. Because he is intrinsically trained to define, analyze and bring about improvement in business processes. And improvement in business processes is a key in the uh, world of uh, survival in business. The profession of cost and management accountancy in India is most hybrid profession as we find it now. It is most remunerating and it is one of the profession in which the aspirants or the students who want to come into the profession and make their career in accountants in a big way can make it a big deal with this profession of cost and management accountancy. In fact, throughout the country we have found that many of our successful professionals are being employed as well as are carrying out individual and independent professional activities very successfully in different areas of life, be it in the accountancy profession, be it in the management profession, be it in the elsewhere as other specialists. I hope with the modern changes and with the present scenario, those who are coming into this profession will find it rewarding, challenging and very, very successful one for their future career. The cost and management accountants are helping the industry as well as the service sector to be cost efficient. So in my opinion, the institute is giving the best education to the students who are aspiring for the cost and management education. In fact, the coming days will be for the cost and management accountants of the Institute of Cost and Cost Accountants of India. In fact, today's cost accountants from the Institute of Cost Accountants of India are the prime movers for any cost efficient organization. And to me, it is a matter of great satisfaction also that the cost accountants from this institute are playing pivotal role in the service sector. And these cost accountants are becoming a successful risk managers in the various sectors of the economy. I wish all the best for the students to come up with this profession and be successful in their career. আজকের মতন এখানেই শেষ করব cma.com আমরা নিশ্চিত আমরা যতই এগোবো যতই নতুন কিছু আপনাদের দেখাবো ততই আপনাদের মনের মধ্যে নতুন নতুন প্রশ্ন আসবে আর সেই সমস্ত নতুন নতুন প্রশ্নের উত্তর নিয়ে সম্পূর্ণ একটি নতুন অধ্যায় নিয়ে আমরাও হাজির হব cma.com এর নতুন পর্বে আপনাদের ভালো লাগা না লাগা মনের মধ্যে জাগা প্রশ্নগুলো জানাতে কিন্তু আমাদের ভুলবেন না আমাদের ঠিকানা হলো 